Hey man, it's your boy Victor Torres. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. This is probably the first recording of myself. I don't know where I'm gonna post it. Maybe YouTube, maybe Instagram. I don't know. But my name is Victor Torres. Um, I'm into sneakers. I love hip hop culture. Um, I'm not into politics, but I'm willing to speak about it. And I'm just here to, you know, give you some content. I just want to join this YouTube lifestyle. So, I mean, maybe I'll just go that route. But, um, yeah. Just, if anyone ever doubts on you or doubts what you're doing, don't let up, man. You know, it's, it's, it's very easy to be swayed by people and their decisions of what you should do or where you should be in your life because they compare it to, you know, other people or even to themselves. But honestly, like, just follow your path, you know, try to find your own truth. And, you know, whether that might be with success, um, whether that might be with family, no matter how you think that you're going to get there, just follow your own truth and, you know, make sure that you're happy. It's, it's, it's extremely hard to, you know, follow your own truth when you're listening to other people, you know, and it's one thing for someone to have their best interest in you and, you know, want to help you with certain things that you want to do with, with your life. But it's a different thing for someone to, you know, try to tell you what you should be doing with your life. You know, you kind of want to take pointers and, you know, try to just implement them to your life. And me, by any, I'm nowhere near successful. I'm just a regular guy trying to join the, this YouTube shit, you know, trying to find my way, trying to find my own path. And you know what? A lot of people like to create this fake image of you know they got it and you know they want to freaking you know post only positive things and things of you know not just that nature but you know nice cars or expensive clothing or blah 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 listen man i got this robe maybe like 15 you know not 15 maybe like 10 years ago, I don't know. My room is in a basement, man. Like, this is where I'm at, bro. I have nothing to be embarrassed of. I just want people to follow my journey, you know? Like, and if that journey takes me to a place where you think that I'm successful, I want you to know that I'm not gonna change, you know? Like, I wanna continue to be me. I wanna continue to be real. I want to, you know, give my reactions to, you know, YouTubers, to events, to things that are happening in the world, to current events, to hip hop, to everything, you know, like, you shouldn't have to feel embarrassed for the person that you are, because we're all on a journey, to be frank, to be quite frank. And, you know, that journey is life. It's literally life. And, you know, some people like to just think that being successful is, you know, the ultimate goal of life. But then, like, you know, I'm the kind of person that's just thinking of, you know, everything that's around me, you know, like, it's more than just me as a person. I live on this earth with a bunch of other people, you know, like, trillions of other people. I live in this country with 300 million other people. I live in this state with 20 million other people in this state, this county with you know, with 180,000 other people, for me to only be focused on, you know, excuse me, let me write that back, for me to only, to not acknowledge that there's something else going on in this world, uh, just got news that Elon Musk is now the richest person in the world with $185 billion, Jeff Bezos was the richest person like last week with $184 billion. I don't know how this happens where it's always like the same two people. Like I remember maybe a couple, not a couple, maybe a decade ago. Um, what's this guy from Microsoft? Why can I remember his name right now? 
Um, time to use this trusty computer. And I know I'm veering off, but this is very stupid that I can't even remember this. <laughs> but. But it felt like. Uh, like, there was, like, a time where Bill Gates and, like, Warren Buffett were even, like, oh, who's the richest now? Like, it was, like, they were vying for, like, who the richest is. So, I just feel like it's a little bit strange that there's always, you know, some type of competition for who's the richest person in the world. When the number, like, the new number is always something astronomical compared to the last. And, you know, the projections, projections for this guy to be a trillionaire is... It's actually quite scary, but, you know, kudos to him and what he's done with Amazon because, you know, and with Tesla as well. I'm hearing that they're giving, like, police cars. Um, they're trying to make Tesla the company for, you know, police cars. And it seems as if Tesla is trying to take over Ford and, you know, the big three. So we'll see where that goes. But... Coming back to life and, you know, the things that I want to do with my life and what I want to do with YouTube is seriously, I just want I just want to be truthful to, you know, my recordings. I want you to follow my journey. You know, I want I want to record my, you know, the rest of my life and be able to look back on, you know, the things that I've learned, the things that I've experienced. And I used to live a lifestyle that was just like, you know, well, maybe vacations and going out to eat and things of that nature would make me experience a lot more. Um, but those experiences left me feeling empty inside. And, you know, I'm just on another path of recording my life so that I could look back at my life. And be proud. To be honest, you know, there's one person, uh, Teddy Safarian, and bro, oh, it's Teddy. You brought me on this path, bro. I literally seen, you know, from your doobie days with your long beard and your long ass hair and like when you first started Sneaker Con and all this other stuff, bro, thank you. Just, just seriously thank you for what you've done over these past, I don't know, I think it was from like 2016 you might have started. But seriously, thank you for showing me that, you know, recording your life and being true to what you do and not just doing everything for content. Content is king, yes. But the quality of content that you put into the world is going to get noticed. And, you know, like I don't want to put out fake content just to get quick stuff. It's like, all right. What's the point of that? You know, like, yeah, you're getting views and yeah, you're getting whatever. But like, it's not necessarily just about the views or about the money, man. Like, what is your purpose in life? Oh, going back to that. What is your purpose in life? You know, like I try to like think of everyone that I, you know, live with. Everything that I live with down to like animals and insects. And like even always oh, Teddy, he brought me up on this in one of his podcasts with Dirty Earn. And the man's like. You know, he was, he was talking about a dog, and he was just like, what's the purpose of a dog? Like, what's the dog's life purpose? You know, you think a dog's life purpose is to get money, is to be successful, is to go out on vacations and to own a giant home and, like, expensive, like, clothes? Like, no, man. Like, it's literally to find peace within the life that you choose and to be able to learn from, you know, whatever mistakes that you've had and, you know, make better. And I don't even know what the purpose in life is, but I know that a dog can't open a door. So you need to take advantage of the doors that you're able to open right now, you know? So it's like, I feel like, not that I believe in, um, re not that I don't believe in reincarnation, but it seems as if like you have one life to find your purpose and to find your truth. And if not, we don't even know what's going to happen. So, like, take advantage of that. And then don't don't just spoil it on being, on monetizing your life. Like, 
that seems to be what is going on. And, you know, the more money you have, it seems to be the more success you have. But it's like, half of these people's stuff is like, it's, the cash isn't even liquid for the most part. Like, everything is invested into something else. And in this world of a pandemic, it's just like, I don't know, I'm veering off, so, you know, I'm here, my name is Victor, um, this is my first recording of myself, and just follow my journey. I need some ideas uh, for, you know, content, I need some structure <laughs> for this recording, but uh, I think I held a pretty good topic and I'm able to just have a conversation with myself or with you guys and, you know, I would like to do this more often than not. <laughs> well, guys, um, I hope I get more subscribers. I don't want to be that type of person asking for subscribers or asking for likes. But just know that it is January 7th. January 6th is a day that will live in another day that will live in infamy. And, you know, 2021 isn't going to be that much better than 2020. You know, we still have some things that we need to work on, for lack of a better word. But. I'm just wishing I'm just wishing everyone out there peace, love, and hair grease. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> just wishing everybody out there a happy new year. Uh, I think I might come for with something, you know, like uh, what was I gonna do? I think I might do like some sneakers of 2020, my top uh five pickups of 2020 since I only have five left and I sold everything else. So I might title it something like my 2020 pickups that I kept and decided not to resell, um, which seems to be which seems to be something that I want to like, you know, venture into with uh, the culture, the hip hop culture, you know. Wear your sneakers, keep your sneakers. Let's show the people which sneakers to resell and which sneakers that they should, you know, keep. Things of that nature. Um, after that, maybe we'll get into, what was the other type, you know, my reaction videos. So hopefully I could react. I don't know how many times we're going to post a video. I don't know how many videos I'm going to post. This is going to be my first video, but, you know, whoever does decide to come with me, I hope to see you again. Peace.